we always move forward to the new version, essentially. I think the trouble with Windows is that it's such a legacy code base. We're used to doing things a certain way and have been doing it that way for 20 years. And so I think a lot of people are very ingrained in the way that they do things, and this seems like somewhat of an affront. But uh, I, th I do think overall, uh, as we get used to it, it will, it will work out for the better. And yeah, when when they turned on updates by default, people, <laughs> yeah. you know, they they complained. When they stopped shipping floppy disk versions of Windows, people complained. So I think you're probably sure. right. Uh, before we move off of this, one last question. I can show you. Let me just show you one thing before we go. Oh sure. Oh. Yeah. This is the little. This is how they're shipping it today. Oh, that's wow. the uh, little, that's the boxed yeah, version little, right there. The USB it's, stick. Yeah, that is tiny. That's a tiny little USB stick. Yeah. It's so that's, cute. It is cute. And it's got a tile at the end. <laughs> it does have a tile. <laughs> uh, do you think that Windows 10, I mean, th this is the question that nobody really knows the answer, but how, how <laughs> good of a move do you think Windows 10 will end up being for Microsoft? Yeah, so that's a tough one. I mean, obviously, in today's world, things are very different. Android is uh, as big as Windows. iOS is creeping up there. Um, Windows may be the third ecosystem uh, very soon. And I, I think this is smart because it, it it halts the blood, you know, the bloodbath that was Windows 8 uh, in its tracks very nicely. I think this is a nice response to that. It's, it, it is an upgrade that I think is equally applicable to people that use Windows 7 today on a traditional computer and people that use a touch-based tablet or whatever with Windows 8. Um, and I think that's important. And I think people are going to rally around that. And I, and I do think they're going to get some positive news out of that. Uh, the trouble is, how does this impact the broader platform issues around people aren't developing apps for the store, mobile hasn't gone anywhere fast, uh, and how do you address that? And that is the great unknown. It's kind of hard to say, but I, I feel a lot better about this version of Windows than I did about Windows 8. Windows 8 was a really uncomfortable conversation, um, and Windows 10 is not. I mean, there's really not a lot to say that's bad about it. It's, it's pretty fantastic. All right, let's move on to our pick of the day. Uh, the company